Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a macro. So, pressing this one key. Alright, alright, alright. So you just. All well, you're pressing is one key. So, this is for the Razer app. Go to the Razer Chroma, or the Ra Razer Chroma, Jesus. Razer Synapse. Then you're going to. <clears throat> Sorry. My mouth is kind of dry. So, go to Macro if you have the Macro set up. Start a macro, record a macro, then press the button that you want to do, and just um, set a time. <clears throat> set a time for the last one, then go to the mouse, click on this, then it should bring you to this. Click macro, click the macros, the um, the macro setup that you play. Jesus, played. Then press play while assigned key is pressed. Then press save. Then go to hypershift. Go to that. Do all that again. And then do that. Boom, 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 boom. Then go. Alright. It's very easy, alright? You can do it quicker too if you need. So just really easy. So then you can. Um, if you want it to be faster, do this. Go to the... Ugh. Jesus. Whoa. I didn't even click out of that. Stupid. So go to the synapse. Go to macro that you just had set up. Go to this. Go to here. Go to 0 0.003. Press enter. And then go boom. And then... And you can obviously get better with um, time. Um, I am not very good at it. Also, obviously, you can obviously still do everything like you normally do. Just obviously, you can just like edit if you want. So like. This is just to confuse people. Also, I do not recommend. I highly, highly do not recommend. Do not use macros in game. If you use a macro in game and someone sees you doing it, they can easily report you and you will get banned. So only use them in creative, obviously. Like I said, just press this button. My hands are on the grips. Alright, so that's all you have to do. See? That's all you have to do. That was me regular editing. So, yeah. Obviously, like I said, you will get better at it with time. But, yeah. Um... I honestly like to have mine at um, 0 0.006. That's what I have mine personally set to. I have that set to both of them. 0 0.004 for the first one and 0 0.006. So... So, yeah. That's what I personally have mine set to. It's not that hard when you get the hang of it, but... Like I said, you will get better at time. It's not that hard when you get used to it. Um, like I said, you just actually... A lot of people that you see that do... <clears throat> really fast editing use macros so if you want to be like them this video was for you 
if you just want to edit really fast and you have a razor mouse, that's how you do it. Um, my mouse is plugged in right now because it was dead. But I can unplug it and then let it reset. And yeah, you can still do it. Just if you're using a, um, if you're using it like, um, <clears throat> if you're using it uh, wirelessly and wired, you're gonna obviously have to have the um, mouse set up in two different ways. So when this comes up and shows me that it is there, I go here. I obviously go to hypershift, go to this, and you will have multiple different things, but you would obviously click the this, and then you have all your buttons, you go to this, you go to this, you, you obviously have it as the macro too, then you save, and then, there you go, you can do it while you are, you can do it while you are wireless, congratulations. So now you have the wired part, and you got the wireless part. Congratulations, see? Boom, no wires, no wires. Look at that, no wires. No wires needed. And you can still do your macros. But that's how you do it. Also, I don't know why that's my build for stair, but I mean, I... And yeah, that's how you do it. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, it's a pretty easy tutorial, if you ask me. And um, that is how you set it up. So boom, 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 boom. Save it. And you're good for days. That's all you got to do. And like I said, if you want to change it, <clears throat> just go to uh, macro, go to synapse, go to the macro, go to here, and you will go to this and this. And then you are ready to start editing like a crackhead. That's, that's all you got to do. Now, yes, you do have to obviously have the Razer app open if you want to be able to use the macros. Um, so, yeah. Obviously, have to have the app open. But hopefully, this tutorial was easy and hope it helped you guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace.